Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I know it's been forever since I did a video. Um, I don't know why, just got out of the habit of, of doing it. I've been watching everybody, all my usual, you know, ladies that I love to watch, but um, I don't know why, I just haven't been doing a video. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to all the people that have recently subscribed to my channel probably thinking okay this is nice I subscribe to her channel and then she doesn't make any videos so anyways I'll definitely try and get back on track to making a little bit more regular videos so anyways the idea was just to do a chit chat and talk about a few little things that are new nothing you know wild and crazy but just a few little things that have been uh, that I purchased over the last little while so um, I think I'll start with eyeshadows because it's probably one of my major makeup and weaknesses I would call it out of out of everything and I am a bit of a sucker for MAC shadows um, I did purchase uh, four new shadows in let's say the last I don't know maybe it's over two months now um, so I'll just show them to you and and uh, I know I'm so sorry the camera it's I'm filming this on an iPad, so it's not the best. Um, this this color is Arena, and it's a nice, I don't even know if I should bother trying to swatch it, but you can see there's quite a bit of a goldish tint to it. Here they say it's a softened medium beige brown. I don't know sometimes if I agree with all of their, their um, descriptions, but Here's another one that I absolutely love and probably on camera it's going to look quite the same as the previous one and this is Era. And this one is a soft golden beige with shimmer and I have that on today and I love this color. I mean I love them all. Um, I just love it and I feel like anybody who's putting together even the smallest of MAC palettes or just buying a few individual uh, shadows, this should be one that, you know, uh, you would pick up because it I think it would work on anybody it's it's quite light but still there's color there and I, I love it um, and it's a satin both arena and um, era are, are satin seems to be one of my favorite finishes you can't really go wrong there's a nice smoothness a bit of a you usually get a bit of a glow from the color without being you know highly shimmery um, there's really never any fallout from you when you use those colors they blend really well another one that I've been loving for actually for a little while this one shows up a bit better this is coquette and I love this in the crease um, I find it works really well for my brows uh, it seems I feel like it matches well and before I was using pencils and now I'm just kind of gotten into using this um, I think it was oh I don't remember her name now I feel kind of silly um, it'll come to me anyways she was using this for her for her brows and you know I I just when I swatched it in in the store I thought oh that might work actually so um, anyways been loving that and it also works great in the crease um, I like that a lot and that one is also a satin finish and they say it's a muted grayish taupe which is I feel like that seems to be true to the description of the color in my opinion and the last one is one that i'd wanted for a while but it seemed to always be out um have this thing for brown colors this one i picked up on a recent trip to florida and this is corduroy and this one's a matte and the description of it is a muted reddish brown which you can see you do see the reddish brown and i also have that on today in the crease that i only have two colors on and it's um era and corduroy um, and I, I of course I can never say enough uh, about about uh, the Mac shadows <laughs> I could go on and on about them and then I just I just use Teddy as one of my all-time favorite Mac brown gorgeous brown eyeliners and uh, you know it's running down so I, I will definitely repurchase that one as long as they make it I'll, I'll be buying it um, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, so anyways, when I went to Florida, I, I brought just, I hadn't purchased corduroy because I got that down there, but I had just brought those three shadows and I said to myself, okay, this is it. I'm going to not travel 
like I do with a palette or other quads. I really wanted to just sort of pare it down and say, okay, bring a few liners so I can change up the look a bit. And those three colors, and then near the end of my trip, I picked up the corduroy, which I had been wanting. And I'm happy I did. Another thing that I tried when I was down there is this um, Maybelline. It's the Dream Fresh BB Cream. And I have it in the color um, medium, medium deep. Um, I would never have tried this if it wasn't for my sister. We were down there together at my mom's uh, for mother for a Mother's Day week visit, and she wears this all the time. And I had brought my usual foundation, my Studio Fix, uh, you know, foundation, and um, I was feeling like it was too. I don't know. It was warm and humid, and I was feeling like I felt like I had too much makeup on. It felt like a, a bit too heavy. So she says, why don't you try, why don't you try this? And I always said, oh, I have discoloration. It's not going to work for me. It'll be too sheer. And, um, but so, what, you know, what do you have to lose? I'm here, I have it here, so try it. So I did, and I went, oh, I really love the way that it feels. I never would have thought that I would like this, first of all, because when you see these, they're always in a drugstore or a Walmart or Target or whatever. And a lot of times even the testers are gone, so you can't even test it on your hand, never mind getting a sample to bring home. And I just don't, I'm not big on returning stuff, especially to those type of stores, maybe Sephora, where they, you know, are more open to you returning something. But anyways, this is really, really nice. This is going to become one of my, you know, go-to products. The only thing is I need to use the Studio Finish uh, Concealer to, you know, to cover up the, the pigmentation that I have on my cheeks because um, that alone is, is not enough. But it, it feels less, I have it on today, and I feel like it feels, I don't know, lighter, especially for the summer, than, than full-on foundation. So I've been loving that. And then we ended up going, she said, well, if you like it, and I wanted to go to Ulta, so they had a buy one, get one 50% off, so you can't beat that. That was fantastic. Um, another little thing that uh, I, I tried that was in a sample thing in Sephora bag. I, maybe it's because the color, it's the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. And I thought the texture was quite similar to the BB cream, actually. Um, it's quite, you know, runny. This one, the color is uh, sweet as honey. Maybe it's because the color is, I don't know, when I put it on, it doesn't look that bad on my hands. But... Um, it glides on. It feels a bit like a BB cream or maybe a tinted moisturizer. And anyways, when I, I put it on, I found it was a bit too yellow, orangey. I, I now I I'm, I shouldn't be knocking it for the you know the product itself. It's maybe just the color. It does appear to come in multiple shades, but I don't know if I will purchase this. I might try and blend that in with a few other things that I have and see if I can make it work just to use up the little sample. But uh, as that color, I would not purchase that. Another thing that I've been using a lot of, you can kind of see that I'm like, I, and I haven't purchased this that long ago, um, and I have it on my nails today. It's a maximum strength. It's like a nail hardener um, treatment type of thing. Uh, I threw away the packaging, so I don't have the whole description on the back. It doesn't say, but I I, lo I love the way my nails are really short right now. <laughs> they don't look like much, but um, I find it makes. They say you can wear it alone and put a coat on every few days, uh, or you can wear it under nail polish. And when you do put a nail polish, this is one that I've been really liking right now. It's Essie's uh, Enough Is Enough. Here it's looking quite red, a bit like my top, but it's more if you see it in person. It's more corally pink, I would say, and it's really nice with almost, sometimes you, you look at it, depending on the light, there's a little bit of an orange factor to it. Um, but usually colors like this, when you put them on, they'll stain your nails after. This, it's helping that when you do put on any darker colors, you don't, you're not left with stained nails when you take it off. And also you get really true color from the first coat you put that on and it makes a great base coat because it's it's like a bit of a, a baby pinkish hue and the color comes out really really true and you don't see you know like the the, the line in your nails 
um, I, I like it. I find like if you're in a if in a rush, you can just do one coat over the base, and the the color will look true enough that uh, you, you could go out the door like that if you didn't want to do the second coat. You know. Oh, another thing that I picked up when I was in Florida was I finally got the two one seven brush. I had been wanting it for a long time, and here in Canada, it's very expensive, and our taxes like insane. So, um, I just I hadn't purchased it and when I was at the Mac counter um, I think it was in Macy's where I bought the corduroy I said oh I think I'm gonna treat myself to the 217 and I'm so glad I did it's clean now but it's such such a great brush it, I love it it blends out like a dream and you always hear people say oh tools make such a difference and stuff and and you say yes I, I know that there is truth to that like my brushes are kind of a random hodgepodge of, of brushes. I do have, I have three MAC brushes, the 219 and the 2, 224 and and now the 217. But the rest are real techniques or um, brush that I found at a, like a uh, hair beauty place, the Trade Secrets and, and Target. And this, I, I really love this brush too. It's a Soho brush that I got at a Winners for $5. In, and then Real Techniques brushes and this one I found also at Winners. Um, it's Eye on Beauty. It's a really nice brush. Don't mind, it's a little bit dirty. But anyways, enough rambling on about my little collection of brushes. But to say that this is a purchase I don't regret making. I almost now want a second one for when this one's dirty or if you're using different colors. But it just feels like it just blends things out so beautifully without removing too much color sometimes you're putting on and you're trying to you know darken the crease and fix the hooded eyes and this really helps i'm glad i bought that <laughs> um one uh, another thing that came in that sephora um this mascara don't mind i can barely read without my glasses on um it's a lash def uh, doubling mascara by clinique and it was uh, at the vib sale anyways it was in my in my bag it's it's a, a nice mascara. I really like the wand. It's very uh, slim on the end and it's more the natural hair bristles. But when they say lash doubling, I don't know if they're talking doubling in length because it's more a lengthening mascara than a, a doubling as far as to give you like big thick looking lashes. I find for that it works well to make them look longer but not necessarily thicker I feel like it really individualizes them so if that's a look that you like this might be for you I don't know if I'll I have a second sample size too I don't think I'll ever purchase the full size because I go through mascaras really quickly and I don't love it enough to pay whatever it costs and never even looked up how much the full size is another little thing that I got not that long ago was this uh, stiletto the line stiletto who makes this it's also Maybelline and you know you shake it up and it has like that felt um felt tip quite a fine felt tip um i'm not good at these type of liners i don't know if my eyes they're a little uneven or because my skin is a bit wrinkly around my eyes i'm not sure but um so i wasn't really using it and i watched one of uh, wayne goss um, videos and um and i've been using this for one of his tricks was to um, use it to coat your your bottom lash line and which I really like because I don't normally wear mascara on my bottom lash line I always feel like it's a touching down and, and and even if I set my concealer and everything I always find that it's it breaks down and I end up with some mascara there and I just don't I don't like it but then if there's nothing on your eyelashes it almost look invisible so this you just shake it up and then you kind of hold it like this and you paint it you know it's a little hard to do like that but you kind of paint it on like that and it's not giving you big um, volume or like thick lashes but it's it's making them black and show that you do have them there like they're just a little bit um, defined so it's a great trick if you have if you know even if you just want to try it um, even if you wear mascara on the bottom line if you have one of these type of things you know, it, it works, and I thought it was another one of great tips from him. So, so anyways, I think that's about it. So I just wanted to get back into making videos and and uh, to talk about a few other things. And uh, anyways, I hope you all are doing well, and have a great day. Take care.
bye